Namaste everyone. How many of us like adventures? Let's imagine ourselves going on beautiful Canadian Rockies for skiing. There's an amazing view down here and we are enjoying the ride. Unfortunately, one of our teammates falls off the slope but doesn't have any injuries, seems to be okay and we return. But unluckily, he ends up having a headache and then slips into a coma. It is something horrible to imagine, right? Well, it's a true story of Miss Natasha Richardson, a 45-year-old British-born actress who died on 18th March 2009 due to falling on the Canadian ski slope. She didn't have any injuries and everything looked pretty normal until she headed to hotel with a severe headache. She was rushed to the hospital but she ended up dying. This is usually caused by head injuries called epidural hemorrhage. Besides, the newspaper nicknamed it as talk and die syndrome. Talking about epidural hematoma, it mostly occurs due to fracture of temporal bone, which is thin as compared to rest of the skull. The fracture can be more severe as the vulnerable mid-meningeal artery is just below it. And it truly is a medical emergency. So you must be wondering why is it called talk and die syndrome? Normally, endosteal layer of dura mater is closely attached to the undersurface of skull, making epidural space only a potential space. However, the initial trauma causes secondary dural stripping from the undersurface of skull, which is further widened by pressure from the ruptured artery. So the blood collects in this epidural space. However, shunting of blood from epidural space via epidural veins delays the expansion of hematoma and thus the rise in intracranial pressure, which in turn delays the development of clinical symptoms. So the person doesn't show any symptoms and is able to talk and walk like a normal person. Hence, is said to be in the talk phase. Can you guess what this phase of consciousness is called? This mere period of consciousness is called lucid interval. As blood loss occurs continuously, significant compression of brain parenchyma occurs which can lead to brain herniation. Patients may have headache and may become unconscious. If immediate medical care is not given, the condition gets severe, the person gets disoriented and ends up in a coma leading to death. This is the death phase. Are you worried to go for adventure after this story? Well, if that's the case, then there's no need to worry, provided that you take safety precautions while exploring new places. For more information on this topic, you can check the link in the description. If you wish to learn more about such phenomena, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.